everyone. I'm Pam with Pre-Employment Transition Services through the University of Missouri. For this virtual lesson, we will be using a Vocational Center instructional board. I have one at home and my students all have one at school. They are easily made and the instructions and resources needed will be listed at the end of this video for other teachers and service providers. This virtual lesson will explore one job, that of a chef. A similar job title would be a cook. We are going to learn about a few items that will match to a cook or a chef. I hope you have these pictures in front of you at your desk. The first one is a pot or a pan. Can you find your picture that looks like this? When you do, let's hang it on the hook under the chef. A chef or a cook will use a pot or a pan. The next picture is a picture of a stove. A chef or a cook will definitely use a stove. Find your picture and let's hang it on the board. Another item that a chef or a cook will use is a knife. Can you find your picture of the knife on a cutting board? When you do, let's hang it on the hook under the picture of our chef. Now we have a plate of spaghetti. This will go with a chef or a cook. Spaghetti is something that they could possibly make. Find your picture of spaghetti and let's hang it on the board. It matches with the chef. Nice job. Let's learn the sight words that go with each of these items. We have pan, knife, food, and stove. It's always great to continue practicing reading skills and these cards will be made available to your teacher or your service provider. An additional assignment that you could work on at home is to identify actual objects or match the actual object to the card. For example, I can hold up this item. Can you find the card that would match this item? If you chose this one, you're correct. Let's hang it on the board. Now I have this. Are you able to find the card that goes with this item? If you chose this card, then again, you're correct. Let's hang it on the board. Behind me, I have a large item that a chef would use. Can you find the card that matches this? If you chose this card, then you are correct. Let's hang this on the board. You did another great job. An important part of working as a chef or a cook is following safe practices in the kitchen. We're going to look at a few things and ask ourselves, is this safe to touch? And we will also use a stop sign if they're not safe. I have a knife like the one in the picture on your card. Is this safe to touch? No, stop. It's not safe. I have a whisk. It doesn't have any sharp edges. Is this safe to touch? Yes it would be safe. 
I have a pan similar to the one in the picture on your card. Is this safe to touch? Yes, it probably is. Let's look at my stove. It's on. Would this be safe to touch? No, the stove is not safe to touch. It's on. These are examples of task cards that will give you more practice on knowing whether or not an item in the kitchen is safe to touch. You can easily practice kitchen safety in your own home on a daily basis just using your own stove, your microwave, a coffee pot, and also your dishwasher when you are loading or unloading your clean utensils and glassware. The idea for this instructional board was found on Pinterest and the link is provided. The materials such as the foam board and the teaching tree large room decor were purchased at the Dollar Tree. The cards were made from clip art. The command hooks are found at your local hardware store or Walmart. And is it safe to touch cards were purchased through Teachers Pay Teachers. The board is very easy to make. Basically, you're just putting six to nine command hooks on the board and the duct tape as a border is optional.